today's lesson is about a dummy Roman blind. Here we have our fabric. Now for the calculation, for this Roman blind, because it's dummy, we're going to use near, just, just over half the amount of fabric for the window. And this fabric is going to have, this Roman blind is going to have three pleats. So first of all, we're going to allow two inches for the top, and that's going to be tucked in. We're going to allow 14 inches for the first pleat and 14 inches for the second pleat and what's going to look like the third pleat is going to be 7 inches. Our turn up, we're going to allow 4 inches for our turn up. And that tucks under. On this, here's where it's going to be pleated. So that's where your seven inches come in. Seven and seven is 14. Here is the other pleat. Seven inches, seven inches. And here is your last seven inches and here is two inches and two inches inside making four making four inches and that's going to be our roman blind and i think they all added up to 41 inches of fabric so that's going to be our roman blind today but it's a dummy so you won't be able to pull this Roman blind up and down. So I've measured seven inch, 14, 14, and now I'm going to put a one inch here. Um, do you know what? I'll put two inch here just to make sure. So I'll measure two inch. And what I then do is fold the fabric over. And now I will put pins in exactly where the other ones are underneath. I'll open it back up the top one I will fold it down to that two inch because that's where I'm going to cut it off but before I cut it off I want to make sure everything's fine first. So I'll iron that bit. And then I'm going to bring it down to the actual finish. So this two inch here is going to be tucked in and you see that in a minute but I don't want to cut this off yet because I want to make double sure that my measurements are right. So this is the first two, the first so now I'm going to iron that I 
I brought it up to that 14 inch and that's looking fine. So I'm going to iron that one. I'm going to bring this up to the next one, which is there. So it's still seven inches. It's one of those things when you want it to slide down, it doesn't. So seven inches is fine. So I've got seven inches. There is the one underneath, so I'm now going to press that. And somewhere along the line, my Velcro is going to be stitched onto probably this one here. So let me cut this off. I suppose I could have stitched this there and put the Velcro on top of it just as normal but I don't want the Velcro to show through on top of here so I'm going to try and do a smart one. Uh, so I'm going to stitch it on this one. Yes I'm going to tuck it in there so I'm going to release this. I'm going to release this. I'm going to put this in here, so I'm hiding that, and then this one eventually will stitch on top. And what I will do here, it was I will open this up open this up oh, sorry this goes back inside that goes there and I will stitch my velcro on top here so this flips over nicely So now that the Felgro is on, let's see how it looks. There is your Roman line.
Now, why did I do it this way? It's because I didn't want the stitching to show on the top. So that's why I did it this way. So this looks nice at the top here. So all the untidiness is underneath. That's why I did it this way. I don't really see any benefit of putting weights in at the bottom of this because it's not going to be pulled up and down so I don't see why you really need it unless it makes it look a bit more sharper other than that I, I don't really see the point now I finished the Roman blind dummy Roman blind um it has this one's got just free now a customer has, has requested that i make her a dummy run because it's going to do for a larger window now what i found in doing this it's almost the size of the window that i'm going to do the width of the the drop of it the fabric quantity is more or less the same so you're not really saving fabric on the depth of the fab of the um material so you're not really saving much by doing that but what you are saving is the cost of the rods that goes in it you're saving on the cost of the string that goes in it and you're saving on the wood that you're putting it up on because all you can do is just put a velcro to your existing helmet board and there it is so you save you've saved money on doing a dummy one in the cost of the material the added material that you need to do a proper roman blind and and furthermore you you don't have that mechanism which that mechanism for that long run at time can cost you up to 30 40 50 quid so you've saved on that so that is the good thing about it the only problem is you cannot pull this up and down so here we have it a roman blind dummy and it's not going anywhere. So thank you for watching my show. Please comment and let me know what you think of it. And for those of you are, who are not YouTube members, uh, I know it's difficult for you, you cannot comment, but email me and let me know what you think. And please, if you find my program interesting, please sign up and follow me on this journey of learning how to do certain things. You name what it is you want to learn and I will do it for you if it's within my means. Thank you for watching my show.